Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, finally, we got better news coming out of the weather lab in the days ahead. Our tropical system moving out. No other systems to track for now. And it looks like things will be winding down in the state with respect to the remnants of tropical storm beta, now called post-tropical low beta. That'll be moving out later on tonight and tomorrow. Some lingering clouds. After that, the sun returns and a good looking weekend ahead. And yeah, we have a nice cool front down the line as well. So these are the watches and warnings that we still have have going at this hour. Still a coastal flood advisory uh, for St. Mary at Beery Parish. That's till 10 o'clock tonight. Coastal flood warning still in effect through the upper Texas coast. That includes Vermilion and Cameron Parishes. Tides still running a solid two feet above normal, if not a little bit more, but they'll be improving later on tonight and certainly into the day tomorrow. As for flood watches, well, they continue uh, mainly northwestern sections of Acadia and does include Evangeline Allen and Beauregard Parishes, but once I show you the radar, you're going to know that the main threat's going to be Sedla on northeastward, and we do have a tornado watch in effect for St. Landry, uh, uh, Point Coupee Parish, and points to the north and east, but I don't think we're going to see any more severe weather. We did have a number of quick warnings earlier as the core of our tropical system was pushing on through. Here's the water vapor imagery, and look at the dry air coming behind it, and we can't help but really believe that that dry air on the western side of this storm going back five or six days ago really inhibited development with this system. We had upper level shear, plus we had smoke from the west coast feeding into this storm, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was an influencing factor as well. Now on the radar today, we have our center of circulation here across west central Louisiana. The worst weather now uh, getting ready to move into Mississippi, but we're going to see some wrap around tropical showers and sprinkles as we head into the overnight hours tonight. You can see those strongest storms, though. This is a uh, let's see. This is a 12 hour loop here. You can see uh, the head of that storm, mainly northern part of the circulation and the eastern part. That's where the strong storm have been the rest of Acadiana just seeing some tropical showers up toward Allen Parish. Also some action down by uh, Morgan City in the Stevensville area, but the main action has been farther to the north in Avoyles Parish. We've had a couple of tornado warnings earlier. No confirmation of tornadoes, but there were some spin ups going on on the radar today, and that wasn't surprising because we had some sun in between some of those showers, and that added to the destabilization of the atmosphere. But again, just about moving out of all of our viewing area and finally Finally, not a whole lot to track in the tropics. That is the good news here. We see the remnants of beta pretty much showing up on the north of uh, the storm showing up on the northeast side of the circulation. Again, at circulation, we're putting it at just about repeats parish late this afternoon. So here's our uh, future cast model, the graph model indicating uh, the circulation of uh, beta finally moving on out, lingering clouds, but a northwest wind or west northwest wind. So by tomorrow morning, we could get down into the upper 60s. You may have felt it pretty uncomfortable today. We got into the mid 70s dew point wise out ahead of that tropical system or the remnant system, but now drier air moving in through tomorrow. Tomorrow stays a mostly cloudy day. We're going to see maybe a few peaks of the sun from time to time. Mostly a breeze out of the north and occasionally gusting, but overall uh, we're going to be watching this system pushing off to the east and northeast and eventually uh, we'll be seeing better weather on the way. And for some reason, the graphic system is held up right on this graphic. And uh, there we go. It starts to move when I want, don't want it to move. And there it goes. Upper 60s tonight here. You're temperatures then tomorrow will favor temperatures holding in the 70s with the cloud cover. I think we get into the upper 70s tomorrow night. We clear out. How about lower 60s? So feeling pretty good there and going into Friday afternoon, upper 70s to near 80 under mostly sunny skies and even cooler weather ahead as we go into Saturday morning, lower 60s once again, and it gets better going into next week. So some showers diminishing, drier air, lower dew points finally moving in late tonight. Rain chance 40%, but that's a soft 40% uh, early tonight, primarily for our northern parishes. And then tomorrow, lingering clouds, seasonably pleasant. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, rain chances down, and a little bit of a west-northwest wind. As we get into Friday, finally some sunshine. The weekend looking fantastic. Highs in the mid-80s. That carries into early next week, and here comes our 
cool front and check this out getting down into the 70s for highs and lows. Some of the models are actually going mid to upper 40s. So right now we'll temper that and say up uh, low to mid 50s as we get into the latter part of next week and the following weekend. I don't know about you, but that sounds like gumbo weather to mm -hmm. me. It does. Coming up down 50 the 50s sound good, but slow your roll yeah, in those no, 40s. 40s. Yeah. <laughs> we're, not, we're not ready for that yet. Ease us yeah, on it, Rob. Yeah, that would be a shock if we hit 40s, right. <laughs> right. Thanks, Rob. Thank